all know that things don't always go smoothly in a classroom. Sometimes students choose not to follow the rules or procedures. So then, how do effective teachers correct students who do not follow the posted and practiced classroom rules? Our final success indicator. Let's hear what a few have to say about this indicator. Teachers correct students who do not follow classroom rules and procedures. I try and do it as unobtrusively as I can as we go through, you know, as we go through a lesson, um, you know, with proximity or, you know, just redirecting them back onto what we're doing. Um, it's interesting because a lot of times what I tend to find is that they're bored. It's not that, it's not that they're wanting to misbehave, but they really need to be stretched. And so, I'll, you know, I'll challenge them to do something or give them a job to do to redirect them. Take note at some of the simple yet positive ways that this teacher corrects her students' misbehavior. She uses proximity. She redirects them. And sometimes she gives them a more challenging task to complete. We continue with this indicator in action. One of the first things I try to do is um, go in close proximity to the student. Um, without calling them out, I can make just a um, quiet gesture, either a, you know, a tap on their hand or even getting close to the student lets them know that I'm right there and can hear them talking or um, see them off task. That's um, the first way that I'll try to redirect them um, if not, talk, you know, whispering to them in private, talking to them, trying to get them back on track. Um, or a strategy that I used today would be to actually call on a student when I knew they were not paying attention or they were off task to try to bring them back into the lesson. Calling on students to draw them back into the lesson is yet another positive way to correct student behavior. Let's see yet another example of this indicator in action. I use a lot of humor. And I always, I, I correct them and I do it in a sort of funny way. And then I'll add it with like, you know, XOXO, mm -hmm. um, you need to um, sit up. Mm -hmm. And, or, you know, I, I make a joke, like, you know, sometimes it'll, you know, hey, raise your hand if you would so much rather be on MySpace right now. And all the hands go up. Okay, so raise your hand if you would so much rather be sleeping. You know, you know, raise your hand if you'd rather be anywhere but here. And so then that's a, we, I sort of like, you know, we all take it with a grain of salt, so we need to sit up then, okay? Because I know I'm just as tired as you guys are, and, and I think it's effective. Do you use humor in your classroom? Did you notice how pleasant her classroom seems? Her students were smiling while interacting with her. Humor can be a powerful tool in correcting student behavior. Do you use it in your classroom? What else can teachers do to correct student behavior? Let's take a look at another clip to find out. If the student doesn't see that you care about them first, um, that when you go to um, discipline or confront them about a conflict, it makes it that much more difficult. So I had an instance, um, I had an instance with one student in particular who is, he's a fun student, um, he likes to joke a lot, and he happened to be joking on another student, which is, um, you know, everyone in my class needs to feel safe. And if that's not happening, then it needs to be addressed. So I simply, um, while the other students were doing something else, I went up to this, um, this young man and I simply said to him that I have much higher expectations for him, that I know that he is above that, and that that isn't tolerated in my class. And because of, because of the relationship that I was able to form with him um, from day one, his response to that was plain and simply, I understand, Mr. Lonnie. I know that I know that I screwed up. I was just trying to to have fun with somebody, but I took it too far. And I think when you have that relationship with students, I think that um, their response is much different than if you call him out in front of the whole class. Wow, there's so much to think about from that teacher, isn't there? When it comes to correcting student behavior, what kinds of things did he say are important? Did you pick up on these? Showing your students you care about them. Making sure that they all feel safe. Making your expectations clear. Dealing with misbehavior privately, which shows them respect. And most importantly, always working on building your positive relationship with them. 
We've covered a lot in today's lesson. Remember, teachers who support a positive classroom environment through effective management skills create a classroom environment that supports learning and makes it easy for students to engage in learning. Prepare to meet the needs of their students by carefully planning the blend of whole class and work time instruction. And positively teach and enforce classroom rules and procedures so that students know how to behave and they know what is expected of them. What do you think? With today's materials in hand, are you ready to command a well-managed classroom? Which indicators are you prepared to implement in your classroom? What additional support or information do you feel you still need in order to do so? Who can you go to for support? And when will you contact them and how? Thank you for participating in the Classroom Management Module. I'll see you in the next one, Instructional Delivery.